Hi everyone. Hi from Mason too. <laughs> okay, so today I wanted to share um, a haul that I um, did on Jackson's Art. So I've purchased a couple of things. Um, actually, I purchased a bunch of new Polychromos pencils. Um, 18 to be precise which is great because it's almost doubling my current uh, polychromos collection there's about 20 or so uh, pencils here and as you can see they're all mostly kind of pinks reds oranges that kind of color scheme and because I have been really enjoying lately um, combining watercolors with the polychromos pencils i decided to expand the colors that i have and these two papers um, jackson's was kind enough to add them for free with my order so basically i've got uh, this one which is the sand cuthbert's botanical ultra smooth watercolor paper and I think I had a sample of it somewhere, um, but it's nice to have it again. It's a 300 GSM, and the, so this is a white one, and then there is an off-white, which I typically don't like to use, but these days I feel quite experimental and just kind of going with it. I'm looking at my nails and filming. <laughs> It's, um, I was watching Ellie Brown's video yesterday. I'm so happy whenever she posts a video, even if it takes weeks in between, because I just love her channel. And even if she would post zero videos for about a month, I would not unsubscribe just because I love her style and her art so much. So I just, yeah, I get very excited when a video comes. Anyway, in that video, she was wearing, um, Kind of nail polish which was like a turquoise with uh, some nails and then other nails mustardy color and on the thumbs she put some um, holographic kind of glitter uh, bling bling and I really liked it so I thought I'll do my nails like that today as well um, so thanks Ellie for inspiring my nails and this um, paper is San Cuthbert's Mill and it is um, it says here new improved smoother surface so i don't think i actually have this one so this is um it says white but as you can see very different to this white it's a hot pressed um obviously both are hot pressed because they're great for botanicals but today mainly i'm so excited to look at the polychromos pencils so they um jackson's as always recycles the packaging which is great so i have to admit uh before filming the video i have opened the three boxes and arranged them in the colors that felt good to me like you know just that sort of rainbow kind of happiness that you have so this is uh, one of them and then um, and this is the other one so i'm expanding my yellows and oranges and i'm also um i've added obviously here a few greens and a few blues which are just stunning and these are the neutrals which i do have already a few but i just wanted to get a few more and then amongst them there is these two dark greens so i've got now um five greens basically so which is a good kind of number so i will swatch them aren't they just gorgeous i mean look at these colors they are just so so delicious and if i put these colors like that so I just laid out my current collection, which is exactly 20 pencils right here. And you can see that I have a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color flow. There is something about the design as well as obviously the actual product, which is just amazing when it comes to colored pencils, is the, the look of them, which is beautiful gold, a simple foiled line here. And nothing else and it's a nice round pencil i cannot stand 
um, this type of a pencil when it comes to colored pencils because my hand gets quite tired and I do like to use some pressure for obviously different um, values um, darker lighter etc so yeah uh, let's start the swatching of these um, 18 new colors so I'm going to use the uh, Stillman and Burn Alpha series for uh, swatching these pencils and I think um, so I'll do the swatches on this uh, side here and then the page next to it I probably will film on another day where I just demonstrate um, like in an illustration or something like that so um, because I like to keep my sketchbooks I kind of have a theme uh, on the open pages so that they're not looking a bit unmatched okay so um, as I assume this might be a long process I'll probably put some music to this and let you enjoy it so here is the cadmium yellow and uh, for the rest of them I'll try to zoom as I go so that I will need to write down 18 times the name of the color pencils and hopefully you'll be able to see that. Okay, so let's start.
All right, so here they are. I have titled all of them, so it's nice and organized in my sketchbook. And I love the colors, I really have to say. I ended up putting them um, into a separate, like, an, you know, the IKEA uh, storage cup. Um, but I think what I will do is I'll take the neutrals out because they were looking very, very pretty before I added the neutrals. And I think I will um, kind of separate uh, neutrals and the rest of the colors probably or something like that. I'll see. But yeah, they just look so gorgeous and delicious and very much this color reminds me of the uh, new gamboge from Daniel Smith a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to um, try them out in actual illustration and see how it goes. So thanks for watching and see you soon.